Alaska pollock a species of cod is an edible fish found in the North Pacific Ocean. Compared with common pollock, Alaska pollock is milder in taste, whiter in color, and lower in oil content. It is a popular choice for fast food restaurants, for example in the McDonald's filet o fish It is also commonly packaged into block molds that are deep frozen and used throughout Europe and North America as raw material for high-quality breaded and battered fish products. History Pollock has been consumed in Korea since the Joseon era (1392–1897). One of its earliest mentions is in the 1652 diary of the Royal Secretariat, which states that the management administration should be strictly interrogated for bringing in pollock roe instead of cod roe. In 1940, Alaska pollock was the most commonly caught fish in Korea, with more than 270,000 tons brought in from the East Sea. However, the consumption of Alaska pollock in South Korea dropped by an estimated 260,000 tons per year by 2016. Much of it is imported from Russia due to changes in sea water temperatures. Alaska pollock is a sizable resource of fish and makes up 32% of the total U.S. landings and 58% of Alaska's. Pollock is the target of many of the world's fisheries and represents about 5% of the world's harvest. In the United States waters alone over 1.5 million MT have been caught, giving an estimated value of $600 to $900 million in profit, between the years 1992–1996. Food Alaska pollock fillets are layered into a block mold and deep frozen for distribution. For high-quality products, such as surimi, high-grade fillets are frozen only once between catch and consumer. For lower-quality, low-cost breaded and battered fish sticks, double frozen or minced trim pieces are used instead. Alaska pollock is commonly used in the fast food industry, in products such as McDonald's filet o fish sandwich and now discontinued fish McBites, Arby's Classic Fish Sandwich, Long John Silver's Baja Fish Taco, and Bird's Eyes Fish Fingers in Crispy Batter. Trident Seafoods and Chuck Bundrant were instrumental in popularizing the fish in the U.S. in the 1980s. Prior to then, it had been most popularly consumed in Asia. Topic: <inaudible> Korea. Alaska pollock is considered the national fish of Korea. Its Korean name, myeongtae, myeongtae has also spread to some neighboring countries. It is called mintae, mintage in Russia, and the roe is referred to as mentai ko, mingtai zi in Japan, although the Japanese name for the fish itself is sukatadera. Jia Dang In Korea, Myeongtae has more than 30 alternative names, including Sengtae, Sengtae Fresh Alaska Pollock, Dongtae, Dongtae Frozen Alaska Pollock, Bugio, Bugio Dried Alaska Pollock, Wangtae, Wangtae Yellow Alaska Pollock, Nagari, Nagali Dried Young Alaska Pollock, Kodari, Kodari Nosed. Young Alaska pollock every part of a myeongtae, including the intestines and the roe, is used in Korean cuisine. Changnan Changnan Alaska pollock intestines. Myeongnan Myeongnan Alaska pollock roe. Topic Sangtae. Sangtae Sangtae, which is fresh alaksa pollock, is most often boiled with radish in a kelp anchovy broth to create a clear soup, sangtae tang. Another common preparation is Mayan gate jayan, pan fried Alaska pollock patty. Sangsian gaseyu, the fish cutlet, is often made with filleted myeongtae. Fresh myeongtae can also be served raw as ho, which is usually marinated and sometimes used as a topping for cold noodles. Fermented products such as sikai and jayotgal can subsequently be made with sengtae. Production of myeongtae sikai involves a fermentation process using the entire fish along with malt and rice, while changnan the intestines and myeongnan the roe are salted to make jayotgal, called changnan jo and myeongnan jo respectively. Dongtae <laughs> Dongtae, dongtae which is frozen Alaska pollock, is typically eaten in a spicy stew, dongtae jjigae. 
It can also gutted and stuffed with vegetables to make a sundae, called dongte sundae. Topic: <inaudible> Bugio. Bugio, bugio, which is dried Alaska pollock, is often boiled in tayamul, water from the final rinsing of rice, to make a clear soup, bugio gook. Dried Alaska pollock head, referred to as bugio dagari, is a common broth ingredient in Korean cuisine. Other dishes made from bugio include bugio jeok, skewered, bugio jangaji, pickled, bugio jeon, pan fried, and bugio joram, simmered. A dish called bugio bapuragi, literally bugio lint, is made by grating well-dried Alaska pollock into lint and seasoning it. Bugio can be thinly sliced, seasoned and dried to make fish jerky, called bugio po, which can be eaten plain or used as an ingredient in other side dishes. Wangte Wangte, wangte which is yellow Alaska pollock, is made by drying the fish during winter and allowing it to undergo natural freeze-thaw cycles. It is often boiled into a soup called wangte heijang guk hangover soup. Rehydrated wangte can be grilled usually with a gochujang based marinade as wangte gui, simmered wangte jjim or joram, or added to wangte juk rice porridge. Jerky made from yellow Alaska pollock is called wangte po. Topic. Nagari Nagari, nagali which is dried young Alaska pollock, is often served with a variety of dipping sauces as anju. Topic. Kodari Kodari, kadali which is the nosed variant, is made by gutting young Alaska pollock and half drying them on ropes that are tied through their noses. It is often simmered with radish to make kodari joram. Topic: <inaudible> Roe. Alaska pollock roe, generally referred to simply as pollock roe, is a popular culinary ingredient in Japan, Korea, and Russia. In Korea, the roe is traditionally called myeongnan and the salted roe is called myeongnan jo. The roe was introduced to Japan after World War II, and is called menteko in Japanese. The milder, less spicy version is called tarako in Japanese. In Russia, Alaska pollock roe is sold as a canned product suspended in oil, which gives it a soft paste-like consistency. <laughs> <laughs> 